In this lesson, we'll talk about using sixteenth notes more. So far we've just talked about eighth notes and quarter notes, which are generally longer. Sixteenth notes are going to help us pick up the pace a little bit more and play a little faster. On an open G string, play this rhythm with me. Four sixteenths and two eighths. Let me show you how it'll sound. Let's do that together. One, two, three, four. Good. Now let's reverse that. Let's do two eighths and four sixteenths. One, two, three, four. Good. Now finally, let's do that with all sixteenth notes. One, two, three, four. Good. Let's practice these rhythms, moving a little quicker, going up and down the D major scale. We'll repeat the top note, and we'll do the rhythms in the order that we just did. So first, four sixteenths and two eighth notes. One, two, three, four. Great, now let's reverse the rhythm. Two eighth notes and four sixteenth notes. One, two, three, four. Great, now we'll do all sixteenth notes. If you're having trouble keeping up with the sixteenth notes, try to make sure that you're using a small amount of bow, half as much bow as you'd be using on an eighth note, and a fourth as much bow as you'd be using on a quarter note. All sixteenths, I'll count us in. One, two, three, four. Good. So let's pick up the pace a little bit now. We'll still do all sixteenth notes, but now we'll only do two sixteenth notes on each note of the scale. We'll still repeat the top note of the scale, so there will be four sixteenths on the high D. I'll count us in. One, two, three, four. Good. And now for a real challenge, we'll do all sixteenths, but only one sixteenth on each note of the scale. One, two, three, four. Good. And finally, let's try four notes slurred. All sixteenth notes, only one note per note of the scale, 
but four notes slurred in every bow. Repeat the top D. One, two, three, four. Good, now we're moving a little bit faster. <laughs> 